How's it going YouTube? Today we're showing you guys how to go ahead and overclock your graphics card. This works for AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards. But a quick disclaimer before I get into the video. If you are going to do this, make sure you're not doing it on a laptop. I would not recommend doing this on a laptop because if they don't have good airflow, they're known for overheating, and they don't have good cooling. They can't have a big, huge heat sink on them. They can't have liquid cooling. They can't have water cooling. So I would not recommend doing this on a laptop. You can go ahead and do it and test it out, but I would not recommend it. If you do have a really, really good like gaming laptop from like MSI or Razer or Alienware, then maybe you can go ahead and try this, but I would be watching your GPU temperature. So... Without further ado, let's get into this tutorial. Alright, so the very first thing we're going to go ahead and do is go to the ASUS website to download ASUS GPU Tweak 2. This link will be in the description. It's going to be the very first link. You don't even have to scroll anywhere. It's right here on the front page. As soon as you go ahead, open the link. Click on Download ASUS GPU Tweak 2 now. Once you go ahead and download this, it's going to go ahead and download to your default download folder through your browser. So go ahead and go to your downloads or for me, it's in the bottom left. And you will need WinRAR or some unzipping program to go ahead and actually unzip the file. So I will be leaving WinRAR also in the description so you guys can go ahead and unzip the file. So let's click on the folder, go ahead and extract it wherever you want. I picked the desktop because it's the easiest way. So click on the folder, extract to, and then pick desktop or pick wherever you want. Now with the file, you went ahead and extracted the desktop. There is going to be a folder. So go ahead and open up the folder and then click on setup.exe and press yes. Now it's going to go ahead and open up the wizard install shield. So go ahead and just go ahead and follow everything through. Press accept and next and yes. You can go ahead and pick the destination folder and pick wherever you want. I'm just going to do the default, which is my programs x86. So go ahead and press next, follow it through and let the program install and just let you guys know you will need to go ahead and reboot your computer for the install to finish so once everything's done installing you will need to go ahead and restart your computer and I'll come back to you guys once I have restarted my computer all right so my computer is turned back on and once your computer turns back on you're gonna have a brand spanking new Asus GPU tweak 2 icon on your desktop so go ahead and double click on the icon to open up the program now click yes they allow it permissions for your computer once that's done, it's going to go ahead and open this beautiful program right here. All you want to go ahead and do is click OC mode. And then there's this little bar down here. If you want to get a little bit more performance, click on Gaming Booster. Once you go ahead and high over, it's going to do Boost My System. So click on that. All you want to go ahead and do is click Best Performance. It's going to bring a little drop down menu here. Click on Best Performance. And then go ahead and click Start. Now, once you go ahead and do this, it's actually going to go ahead and load three things. It's going to load the visual effects, the system services, and then the system memory defragmentation. Once it's done that, it takes about 30 seconds. Just go ahead and click OK. And that's how you go ahead and overclock your graphics card to get a little bit more performance. This really does help if you want to go ahead and get a better experience on a game or if you're streaming and you need a little bit more power. It's really going to go ahead and you'll notice a difference. And just to let you guys know, there is actually a performance or professional mode as well. I'm going to tell you right now, this needs a separate video. If you want me to, I can go ahead and make a separate video on this. Just let me know down in the comments because it's not just simply, oh, GPU boost clock, let's go ahead and put that up all the way. Oh, the memory clock, put that up all the way. The fan speed, let's make this thing soar like a rocket ship. Let's go ahead and boost that up all the way as well. It's not that simple. If you go ahead and start screwing around with these settings in here, you might actually harm your graphics card or go ahead and totally just break the thing. So this needs a totally separate video and you need certain settings for certain types of things things so if you guys are interested in that i can go ahead and make a tutorial on that but just for the occasional game that wants better performance and better graphics overall just go ahead and do oc mode and then boost my system but hopefully you guys learned something new and hope this video helps you out if you did please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you guys go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you are new if you have any suggestions on future tutorials or anything just go ahead and let me know down in the comments as well i greatly appreciate that but hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully it helped you out and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out Thank <laughs> you.